Hello everybody, this is your host Yoshi. Um, coming here for a little wake and bake. It's Monday morning. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, mine was pretty good. I downloaded a couple games. Uh, the Surge 2 and Disintegration. I believe both of them are new games. I know Disintegration is new. It's some kind of uh, shooter game. Kind of weird. I tested it a little bit. Um, I don't know if you're going to be in a like a hovercraft the entire time. But it's a seemingly fun game. Same with the uh, uh, the Surge 2. Uh, both of them are like uh, about being either like cybernetic or robotic or you know, like fuse with robots and machines and stuff, and uh, like the Surge Two, uh, you get uh, what like uh, uh, what do they call them? Forgot now. Uh, it's those military suits that uh, enhances your strength and stuff. Those robot suits. Uh, you'll end up getting one of those. Uh, they call it a rig. Um, you can uh, augment your uh, body parts and it seems like a pretty fun game it's something definitely up my alley as uh, I love that kind of stuff like robots is like my dream like society and world would be similar to uh, I robot where there were a ton of robots uh, they were used to help people like everybody had a robot uh, that would be there to help them when they needed it you know uh, you know uh, carry groceries uh, minister of medicine uh, defense and you know various other things and it would be amazing uh, I just uh, I just love robots. Everything that they can do, um, not so much on like military robots because that's all about like killing people. Um, even though like the lethal side of robots is still pretty cool, I'm more for like the positive aspects as to what robots can do for humanity. I mean, imagine, I mean, like in China, they have, um, they got restaurants, there's various uh, robotic chefs in uh, Tokyo, I mean, not Tokyo, but Japan, I don't know if it's actually in Tokyo, I don't remember where, but they got the strange hotel, which, um, is a, uh, a hotel that is staffed just by robots, besides like seven people, um, you got like the owner of Kroger, I think, uh, trying to make a robotic warehouse that is similar, just staffed with people that um, package up the bags at the end. Amazon uses a bunch of robots in order to uh, uh, help with sorting and stuff. <laughs> <coughs> Let me do one thing. Let's see. There we go. A lot better. I had to take it off my lap. <coughs> but robots would truly uh, revolution a lot revolutionize the world and I wish we were to use robots more for the benefit of society instead of you know for uh, warfare because for the most part uh, majority of robots is being used by the militaries to uh, create super soldiers Uh, 
robots could help uh, prevent the deaths of, you know, the soldiers and stuff. <coughs> and... <coughs> <coughs> Possibly, <coughs> possibly be used to help prevent the collateral damage and the deaths of civilians by programming the robots to prevent any type of uh, attacks that would cause innocent civilians to die. But how do you know that's going to actually happen? Especially with the way a lot of the governments are, where, you know, they're big on war. I would like to say thank you to everybody that has uh, been subscribing and uh, watching my videos. All the support has been really appreciated. Um, channel starting to grow a bit, <coughs> and I'm happy about that. I've been uh, <coughs> YouTubing since I was 18, and had to. Um, and was dealing with uh, my Tourette syndrome. It was a lot more extreme. Uh, but now I've been able to manage it with the use of cannabis. And um, I mean, it didn't, it didn't go too far. Um, started Then I did uh, some traveling, put some videos about that. Gaming is now where I feel uh, most comfortable and been enjoying myself a whole lot. Um, Especially during the pandemic. So it's giving me, uh, sorry, my nose is really itchy. It's my mustache. Um, especially during the pandemic where, uh, it's getting worse for the, uh, United States. Due to the incompetence of, um, a, a, of a Donald J. Trump. <coughs> it's um it is uh but you, you can you can see the makings of a fascist dictatorship or possibly even a monarchy if well if Trump was smart enough and was able to you know actually just you know think of head think of it think a head instead of you know more so the short term and think more about than just his ego he actually could become a monarch uh there's a lot of trump supporters that would uh back him becoming a king and uh, uh giving uh, the throne away to one of his kids especially baron since he's the youngest at the moment um the throne after he dies or decides to vacate which is uh, scary because the colonist founders of the United States uh, fought kings and worse and the American society is supposed to be against you know monarchies and stuff but I guess not oh this is something pretty cool in my opinion um, Another channel I have, uh, people talked about it, a uh, clip was used, I got a nice shout out, gained a few followers because of that I believe, um, which is great. Uh, it's more of a political, religious, and well, anti-religious channel. I've uh, been trying to keep uh, politics and stuff off of this channel, but it's truly not possible, especially with, well, again, with the way things are going, especially in America. Uh, it's all getting extremely political, and like, you know, with uh, Trump sending agents to kidnap people, POC is dying all over the place, like, uh, there's been lynchings, attempted lynchings, nooses that's been put up, you get protesters that are being shot by racist people, uh, Racist people attacking others or going on verbal tirades. <coughs> it's a very uh, volatile uh, time 
I mean, it's not like it's not ever uh, for uh, POCs at the moment. And me being one of them, I am worried about stuff going on. But, ooh, another funny thing is, though, uh, I, I get told a lot on my other channel that I sound white and that my whiteness affords me various uh, benefits. And it's like, no, nah, I'm not white. Uh, I mean, I guess during times like these, I'm now white, but uh, for like pretty much for most of society, I'm uh, considered black, even though I can look like white if I'm like if I don't get enough sun and start getting really pale. But if I'm usually in the sun, I got a nice, uh, really tan complexion and stuff. But, I like this idea of, you know, you sound white because you don't talk like the stereotypical black people. It's just a, uh, the, uh, the sounding white thing was just a, uh, you know, bunch of racist remarks. Uh, oh, you sound white, so you sound more educated and stuff. Or, you know, people, some people would say, you sound educated, are you white? And it's like, uh, wow, what a thing to say. And it, it just gets crazy. And it, a, lot of, a lot of people have been showing their racism uh, more and more uh, with, what th with, with the way things are going in the United States. And it's like, there's a lot of people you, you didn't think were racist, and turns out, yeah, they're racist. Okay, let's get back to games, though. Um, I'm playing Moonlighter, which is a pretty fun uh, roguelike game where you also manage a shop, trying to bring it back to its glory by uh, traversing various dungeons to open the very last one and gain the most valuable treasure. Playing Dead Cells, which is an another roguelike game. Um, uh, you, uh, you are the inhabitant of an island that is, an, that is, uh, dealing with an infection, and you are a, uh, pretty much an immortal being who is trying to pretty much basically escape and figure out the, the cause of everything. I'm also playing Control, but I'm stuck on that game. Um, I'm fighting this... Uh, well, there are several bosses that I've been trying to get past, but I haven't been able to, which is why I'm stuck. And it's... I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I need to do some small quests and stuff in order to uh, get enough strength in order to to beat these uh, bosses <coughs> but I've been trying and I haven't really gotten anywhere which is why I got the uh, other two games I mentioned earlier Disintegration and The Surge 2 so that I can break up the monotony of uh, Dead Cells and uh, Moonlighter because uh, well, I'm probably kinda of boring for people to watch um, and I also need something to break up for myself because yeah, they're both roguelike games and I really enjoy roguelike games but I also enjoy uh, games with stories and stuff. More more R RPG like. So it's everybody's favorite strain. If you'd like to tell me, you can uh, leave a comment. As well as tell me how your weekend was and if you did anything fun or if you just, you know, <coughs> stayed inside. I know uh, if you're watching this from another nation, <coughs> a lot of other nations have been able to open up and stuff and actually kind of resume quote unquote uh, normal activities, uh, which is basically still like social distance and just 
be cautious and stuff, but, you know, with cases going down, they've been able to, uh, you know, get out and do stuff. Um, United States is still, uh, wanting to be stupid. And now we get almost, like, 200,000 deaths and, uh, 4 million cases. Uh, yeah. I hope everybody has a, uh, a great time. I'm gonna, uh, get some games recorded. Um, if I, uh, if I'm able to stream my Twitch, uh, 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 if I'm able to stream disintegration to my Twitch, um, uh, the Twitch, my Twitch link is uh, twitch.tv slash uh, D-E-C-B-A-A-L. I'll have uh, the link posted below. Um, if not, it'll be uh, recorded and uploaded to YouTube. Um, I'll uh, uh, drop a tweet on my Twitter if uh, whenever I start streaming. So uh, if you guys want to hit the notification bell on my Twitter, uh, for my Twitter, and you'll uh, stay up to date on when that'll happen. Uh, Twitter link is uh, will be down below as well. It's uh, twitter.com slash uh, D-E-C-B-A-A-L. Um, peace.